Hello everyone, this is Pritam Shaha and welcome to our YouTube channel Cognitive Coders. I hope you guys are doing well and this is our part 66 video of our Databricks by Spark series. Okay, in this video, what are we gonna learn? We, uh, we are going to learn how to implement multi-trading concept in Databricks Notebook. Okay, okay. so basically multi-trading concept uh, first uh, try to understand the uh, try to understand the mm, requirements okay so before going ahead I want to introduce our channel okay this is our channel uh, cognitive coders there are uh, there are multiple playlists if you still have not uh, gone through I I would request you gone through the uh, videos if you are preparing for data engineering interviews or you are learning you are aspiring for a data engineer role it would be very much efficient for you guys okay if you still have not subscribed I would recommend you please to subscribe and press the bell icon for the upcoming videos because because every every day ev in in a weeks we are we are uploading three two to three videos okay that are all important okay and also if you if you want any any kind of specific uh, uh, content uh, you can you can share the details with me I, I will I will create the content on that topic and uh, will post post it okay so you can comment uh, also uh, whatever it is required it is good or not okay based on that we will do that okay uh, so basically multi threading multi threading concept what it is so if I have in uh, basically requirement is so um, uh, I have a notebook okay so it the here this based on the access key I am accessing my uh, my uh, my storage storage location okay so after accessing the storage location uh, there is a file race races CSV okay so uh, so I have configured um, using uh, in the access key okay so access after getting the access to my storage so what I am doing I am reading my races data okay so here I have multiple dates data so so here I am generate I am getting widget and I am filtering uh, from the date widget I am filtering the uh, date whatever uh, date uh, I, I have mentioned here based on data uh, I, I am just filtering filtering the data if you want you can uh, save the data in a separate CSV uh, each and every each and every filter okay multiple if if you want to filter uh, multiple dates data in a multiple CSV file here I am performing it for one date the same thing if you want to do for multiple uh, dates for multiple dates like this and uh, you want to save it in a sep separate separate CSV file you can write the uh, write this uh, spark dot uh, write dot CSV like this you can uh, you can write and you can uh, uh, give your location to say uh, to write the data after filtering based on the date so if you want to perform mm, that thing like this okay so that time what you will do you need to use multi threading option okay so for doing the uh, doing the thing as fast as possible because if you use here for loop there when it is a it is a huge amount of data billions or trillions amounts of data you need to filter you need to save so that time the parallel processing for that parallel threading uh, to uh, you need uh, because for the uh, first work okay first running so here I have fixed some dates okay so uh, e, uh, so what I am doing I am creating here uh, one uh, function okay so this is my function and I have imported concurrent feature okay okay so here first uh, in dbutils dot notebook run run using this I am running my notebook this notebook okay and this notebook used to take one variable okay this is a separate notebook the main function is working here okay the main oh, uh, main transformation and saving part reading the data here the main notebook is here uh, 
and this notebook will be my driver driver notebook from here I will run that notebook okay but in in multi threading concept okay so at a at a time multiple time multiple time notebook will will be run and with multiple variable okay so based on that so I, I have defined the run notebook here and uh, notebook dot run uh, using uh, dot notebook dot run I have passed it the the uh, the feature okay um, uh, the 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 whatever it is called the sorry the notebook path I have passed it okay so this is the path okay. uh, uh, filter by date okay filter by date if you uh, if you take the full path you can sh you can paste it like this the same or workspace like that I have uh, okay so you will get and this is the this is the three se three hundred second the uh, the this is the timeout okay so you can see the uh, path then time uh, timeout and then you need to pass the argument so my argument would be my date here uh, this uh, notebook used to take the argument as date okay so date you need to pass here so I would pass it uh, as a um, as a list under that list it would be key value pair okay so now now the uh, how to run the notebook so I will use here worker 5 maximum worker 5 so each and every worker will run the notebook at a time okay so if I will select 5 if I earlier it was 2 means at a time it, it is to work 2, two notebook with 2 separate, separate variable but now I will use here 5 and the code is with concurrent dot feature dot uh, thread pool executor you are you have to mention your uh, maximum worker as executor then executor dot map you need to pass first your uh, method and then then this variable okay so here you can write like this also if you not able to understand this. okay so basically this variable uh, will go to here and it will go to here as it is okay if I'll run the notebook on now how it will take let's see you can see at a time five notebooks are uh, running with separate separate run parameter first five it is going 29 5 26 24 and 7 29 5 5 26 24 and 7 you can see once it is it will completed then after that it will take the next five let's see yeah it is completed now it is taking the next ones so three it is running and now the rest two already started running succeed So you can see parallel processing is working. So multi-threading. This is called the multi-threading concept. Okay. So all the all the uh, for all the all the uh, variable data, my notebook has run. How fast it it has run? You you can see. Okay. If you if you go if you go some one notebook, you can see the thirty date. Okay. Date thirty. It has taken so the run parameter uh, it was uh, it was 30 uh, if you if you want to consider the fourth fourth one this one so go to there in run parameter you can see the parameter it has taken and based on that it has filtered out the data now if you have written the code for writing the data you can write it here okay so this is called multi threading uh, concept uh, this is a this is a short code okay uh, in in industry level you need to write mm, based on your requirements okay I think you have understood if you still have any kinds of doubt you can 
comment on the video comment section i will i i will answer your questions okay if you want to connect with me what you can connect with me via topmate it's a complete free service okay you don't need to pay a single penny uh, you can join our telegram channel for daily participating daily basis quiz and daily updates okay and also you can follow me in linkedin uh, all the links has been given in the video description you can take from there and uh, this is my humble request to you guys please 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 do subscribe our channel because everybody watching the videos but uh, they are not commenting they are not liking our video whatever it is if you dislike please uh, write it dislike it if you like please like uh, like it uh, also comment comment that thing that how uh, how you dislike uh, uh, what is the uh, uh, what is the uh, thing that you dislike what uh, also if you like what you, what do you like in that video that also you can mention okay and also please subscribe if you like our video okay so thank you thank you for watching our video stay tuned with us bye for now